welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel and to another Charlotte Tilbury makeup tutorial. <laughs> I'm sorry that there have been a lot of these recently but I am the biggest Charlotte Tilbury fan and when this collection dun dun dun, landed on my desk the brand new pillow talk product I mean I swear to God, I always knock something over in my intro. What's going on? As soon as I received the new Pillow Talk products, I just knew I had to film with it. So this is the look using the brand new palette, the brand new lip gloss. If you want to see how I applied this look and how I created it, what I think of these products, then just keep on watching. I mean, how beautiful is the packaging? So this is what comes through the post, the very fancy Charlotte box. Let's start off with the palette. So this is the luxury palette of pots. This is limited edition. So if you want this, you're gonna need to snap it up quick because it's not gonna be around forever. This is 42 pounds. It launches tomorrow, 26th of September, exclusive to charlottetilbury.com and Charlotte Tilbury stands in London and LA. So head to the website. I'm gonna put all the links below when it does go live. So you can just find the links in the description box below. So yeah, this is 42 pounds, which is the price of a normal palette, which is a lot for just four shades. But if you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I'm the biggest Charlotte Tilbury fan and I do think that her products are worth it. So we have these four shades in the collection. They're all very sparkly and glam, gonna be so perfect for the party season. First off, we have Prime, which is this beautiful pearly pigment eyeshadow. Oh, look at that. It's got kind of a pink iridescence to it. Can you see that? So it's not like proper champagne. It's got a pink iridescence. I think this one is my favorite. This one is Enhance and it's more of that classic pink, rosy, pillow talk shade. Oh, it's so shimmery. And we have the smoke shade. That is stunning, some more of a coppery tone. And then the last one we have is smoke. Is that right? Oh my God, look at that. <gasps> This is insane. Sorry, this one is Smoke, the darker one, and then this bronzy one is Pop. What is different about these? So what makes it magic, it says on here, it's got pearl pigments that give a mirror-like reflection to give your eyes a magical molten sparkling finish. Glossy Esther, I mean, it adds a magical luminosity to the pigments, so a soft, silky feel. They do feel super, super silky. As you can see, there's no like kind of fallout. It's not like glitter. It's more like a sparkle. And then Mika gives the pigments a soft gliding effect for silky application. Magic application tips right here. So I am gonna follow that because I do like following Charlotte's recommendations. So it says apply the pearly pink shade, which is this one, to the inner corners of your eyes using your smudger brush. I mean, I don't have one of them, but I am gonna use this one. This one is from Iconic. Oh my God, that looks so pretty. Can you see the pink iridescence? You could 100% use this shade as a highlight as well. Sorry, I've just adjusted the lighting because I feel like it was super dark. So hopefully it's a little bit better now. Right, so now we're gonna go in with the Enhanced shade, which is the real true pillow talk pink gorgeous shade right here and it says wash the pretty soft pink over the entire eyelid oh using your finger okay not the brush and along the lower lash line using a brush i mean it's super super girly i'm not used to wearing this like shimmery of an eye but i am loving it consistency of these shadows are beautiful they're like really creamy and buttery they just glide on the eye like so well it's more like a cream than a powder okay now we're taking it a little bit the lower lash line i mean i never ever normally put a shimmery shadow on the lash line underneath but we're following charlotte's strict instructions <laughs> now we're going to go for the smoke which is this i mean oh, it's like a beautiful chocolatey shimmery brown. Apply the ready bronze shade to the outer corners of the eyes to add intensity and blend along the outer lower lash line as well. Kind of just like dabbing on. Oh my god that's so pretty. Now that I've got them that shade on the eye I'm just gonna kind of softly blend 
that out. Again, going in with that shade and taking it underneath, but just on the outer. Right now, I'm gonna go back in with my finger. It says, add a pop of peachy bronze to the center of the eyelid to dazzle and delight. <gasps> my eyes look like a disco ball and I love it. Look! I could look at my eyes all day. I just popped on some mascara. I'm gonna go back in to that first light shade and I am just gonna take a little bit right there in brow bone. Dazzling! Right, I'm now lining my lips with a little bit of Pillow Talk. I normally wear quite a dark lip liner, but I do really like the consistency of this, but Pillow Talk lip liner for me, I just feel like it's not dark enough. So now we have the Lip Luster Luxe Color Rich Lip Lacquer. It says that this creates a three-dimensional lacquered pout that hypnotizes. Lotus flower extract, which softens and conditions. Film former, which creates a magical top coat to enhance wear. And glossy ester, which gives your lips a glossy, lustrous finish. I'd say you can wear this alone or wear it on top of the um, Match Revolution lipstick in Pillow Talk. But I'm just going to wear this on its own so you can see the true colour and the consistency and the coverage of it. But... How beautiful are her lipsticks? I love all of their packaging, to be fair. I don't what shade I have in my collection of this lip gloss, but this is like a dream of a colour. It's like a perfect rosy pinky nude, but with my colouring as well, this shade is really pretty. And also, I mean, with the eyes, kind of picking up on the rosy vibes. I find this lip gloss quite thick, but I like that. I like to feel like I've got something on my lips. I feel like the coverage is really good with this. It's not sheer at all. It gives a really good color payoff to the lips. I mean, I love it. And I love that the lip gloss isn't too big. It's such a good size for a handbag. So guys, let me know what you think of this collection in the comments below. As you can tell, I'm completely won over and love this collection. To be honest, I would probably wear my original Pillow Talk palette and then use one or two of these shimmery shades to pop on top. I don't know if I'd go for the full shimmery look again because is it too much? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there are any other Charlotte Tilbury products that you want me to review or any other products or brands that you want me to review, please let me know. I really hope you're having a good week and I will see you beauties in my next video. Bye!